Hello everyone, welcome back to WSQ. In our today's session, we will be talking about identity operators. In our previous session, we covered what are assignment operators. There are four assignment operators. We have is equals to, we have plus is equals to, minus is equals to, multiply and is equals to. Also, if you want to become a successful data analyst and you want to learn from our industrial experts, then you may call on the number given below or you can also click on the link given in our description. Not just that, with our every batch, you will be getting two demo classes for free. So let's get started, guys. In our today's session, we will be talking about identity operators. Let's see what is identity operator. So guys, identity operator helps us to check if the variables, two variables we have provided or if whatever, uh, whatever uh, two items we have provided it compares it and checks if they are from the same object type or if they have a same memory address there are two types of identity operators that we have over here that is is and is not let's have a look on how it can be used in python so guys uh, to understand identity operators i'm considering an example over here where i'm creating one variable a is equals to one two three inside a string while at the same time i'm considering a b variable which is equals to four five six now we clearly know that first one is a string and the second one is an integer. If I'll check, if I'll write over here that print A is B, that A's data type is similar to B's data type. If, uh, if it is same, it will give us true. If it is not same, it will give us false. Let's run and see. It is giving us false. Why? Because we clearly can see over here that A is a string and B is an integer. Right. At the same time, if I write B is not, A is not B, which is true. Right, because a uh, a is a string and b is an integer, so a's data type is not similar to b's data type. So that's why it gives us with true. So this is how our two identity operators is and is not can be used. We will be discussing about it thoroughly in our problem solving session. So stay connected, guys, and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.